Originally twelve dollars, but I got this for a dollar. Holy crap! I kind of hope it fits. I can't test it out right now. <laughs> I think it's gonna fit. Oh, that's so pretty. It's so cool. I can't. Sorry, I don't really usually like to talk live, live as I'm doing things, but I actually have the opportunity to now. We'll see how I go. Maybe I'll mute this and just do a voiceover like I usually do, but we'll see. I never even like introduced myself or anything. I just was like thinking that I wasn't going to talk and then suddenly I'm like, oh, I have to see how cute that is. So I have been doing... 100 day challenge for makeup which by the way ignore my nails i'm literally about to do them after this i probably should have undone these after my nails looked good but unfortunately i didn't because i couldn't wait so i wanted to get some things and obviously afterpay is awesome because i've only paid like 20 dollars for all of this so far you know like it's like 20 dollars a payment for four payments or something which is just so affordable when it can be done like that because otherwise honestly not to I don't really want you know want to talk about my finances but it's like I definitely wouldn't have been able to buy all of this at once I probably would have been like okay maybe these two this pay this one next pay you know what I mean so I'm glad I could kind of get everything I wanted all at the same go my lips get really cracked and I've already got one of these but I want to also do one keep one in the bathroom so I can do it after I take all my makeup off and just sort of have like one before I do my makeup and one after I do my makeup and so this is a watermelon and I just I reckon this is going to smell so good yeah I reckon I really love the other one that I use it really really helps also just like make my lips feel really nice before I put any anything on them I don't love all this plastic unless it's like biodegradable but you know i get it. it's not always easy when it comes to these products but oh it feels really good okay yep it's got the little nice i'm gonna have to sniff it it's not as strong smelling as i thought it'd be but I guess you don't want it to be too strong because otherwise you'd want to eat it. But it does still smell nice and I can't wait to use it. Mm, yeah, that's cool. I got some of this on special too. Like I said, this was a dollar, even though it's originally like twelve ninety five. So I can't remember the other specials that I got, but originally this is twelve something. I th I think I brought this full price. And then there is this, so I sort of don't have any like blushes and like darker shades that are just like compact like this. I only have them in like big, big like eyeshadow palettes that I'm not really using in my 100 days of makeup because I sort of just wanted to assemble, you know, a little bit of makeup that I could easily grab because I kind of have a lot of makeup and a lot of palettes. Um, but I didn't have just like a nice, small, compacted um you know cheek palette and so when i seen this i thought that was pretty cool and that would be a lot easier to sort of grab out because i haven't really been doing anything on my cheeks and i i know i don't really i don't feel like i need much on my cheeks but i feel like it'd be interesting to start doing a little bit uh, this tape i already done a video of my makeup i don't know if i'm I don't know how I'm going to edit this video or the other videos, but we'll see. I'm just recording stuff and then I'm just going to kind of whack it together and see how it goes. Okay, that is so sticky. Alright. Hopefully I 
can get it out there. So it's like, yeah, best of three cheek palette. And Sports Girl Beauty, um, they're vegan friendly and tested on sport girls, not animals. I can get behind that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, see, this will be this will be perfect. Hopefully, you know, I end up liking it because <laughs> I, you know, haven't tried it yet. So very nice. Don't know if that's gonna be completely right for my skin, but just gonna test it out when I can. I'm not gonna test it out here. I might make another video where I'm trying it all out, but I just thought I'd unreveal it. I probably need to hurry up because I didn't want it to be too long. That's nice. That's like a nice highlight. So good. And so this is a cleansing balm. I had face wipes and then I'd basically go in with a face wipe and then go in with one of the, um, the makeup wipes that are handmade, the ones that are reusable, just to sort of go in with something dry and pick up the rest of the makeup after a cleansing wipe but I thought mm, a little spatula I thought I'd see how something like this would go so it's got um, grape seed oil jojoba oil vitamin E you know Let's see how I like having this formulated I've never really used a cleansing balm, so I thought that's interesting. Wow, looks nice. I kind of want to touch it already, even though I said I didn't want to do that. Oh yeah, and that just sort of like cleanses. It's going to be so interesting. I think I could use these with those um, reusable um, makeup wipes. It'd be really cool. I can't wait to try all this and to basically get it into my every everyday routine. I'm, I am going to reuse the bubble wrap. I don't really like purchasing things, you know, that aren't eco-friendly. But, you know, when you get it, you reuse it because you don't want it to go to waste. It's like, you know, if we can just do the best that we can, reuse everything. You know, tissue paper can be hard to reuse, but just do your best, honestly. Free supplies, you know. So, what do we got here? Ah, yes. I got one of these for free. I think it was this one, actually. I think I got this for free. So, I have a, a, a serum that I put on my face after I take my makeup off. That's it. So, I have, like, my little collections in the bathroom where the routine I do after I take my makeup off. I've been trying to take care of my skin, considering I'm using a lot of makeup now. Um... And so I wanted to sort of keep, you know, so that's also why I got, yeah, this. So I wanted to keep this in the bathroom to use after makeup. And I've already got one for before makeup. And then I have a serum that I put on my face after makeup. And I got this one to put on before makeup because this looked like a good one to go with. And it's watermelon as well, even with the theme. And yeah, got the cleanser to go after my makeup. And I already have a moisturizer. A, a really interesting looking moisturizer to go on afterwards as well. I'm really just trying to take care of my skin now, you know. Yeah, so I got, that's right, I got this for that. That is really cute packaging, by the way. It's really holographic. Gets you every time. How can it not, you know? I thought I'd try this out because it's, I've never used a stamp. Um, okay, I guess I'm just going to open this one. I was going to do that one, but I don't know. What, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So... Pull that out. It's gonna be interesting to see how you go with that. Oh wow. I can't wait to test that out. It's gonna be so interesting. It's gonna be interesting to know if this is gonna be like quick and simple. You know, obviously you'd still need to get your positioning right. I can imagine, obviously. And then there's like, okay. Alright, that's cool. Oh yeah, so it's just like the left and right side. Obviously, that yeah, that would need to be different, right? 
That's cool. I can't wait to like mess around with that. <laughs> so yeah, I'll open this. It's like the tape's already lifted up there, so that's good. Just pull that out from the bottom. Oh, that looks nice. It's got watermelon extract. It's got aloe vera, cucumber seed oil, and vitamin E. Soften, hydrate, refresh. I think, I think, because I do have a dry skin, I think this is, yeah, this would be really good to soften and hydrate my skin for makeup. And then I also have my hydrating primer. So I think that'd be go well. I wonder if this really probably could even be all I need before makeup. I don't know. I'm probably going to do both. Give my skin that extra chance, you know. So I think it's a dropper. Oh, wow. It's going to be so interesting. Bip, 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 bip. That's cool. I can't wait to play around with this, honestly. I feel... I really appreciate every time I can basically buy myself anything because it doesn't happen very often. And then I notice when I do sort of go, okay, I'm just going to buy myself something, I end up sort of doing it in in bulk because I'm like, I'm not going to get this chance very often. <laughs> Afterpay has really been a big help. Like I said, I only have paid $20 for all this so far. And then it's like another $20, you know, which is completely affordable for me. So... This is, yeah, this was free because I think I spent a certain amount. So that's cool. So liquid illuminator. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. That's such a big package. I get they want to really display it and they need to do it like this to get it structurally sound. But it does feel a bit like, you know. But it's pretty. But I'm kind of like a minimalist packaging gal. That looks really nice, actually. Okay. And that's to protect it, I think. Or does it come out? Oh no, didn't just that's the thing. Okay. Tempted to squeeze it on myself now, but I won't. Oh, that's cool. I can't think of these. So cool. That's so cool. That's so cool. Hello, I'm Dulcy. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, please stick around consider subscribing um today i'm gonna be doing my nails to be honest i've been recording a couple of things and i don't know what video i'm putting in what or if i'm making different ones separate or what so figured either way i would record an intro usually i do it by voiceover but i'm doing it in the moment we'll see how this goes i don't i normally kind of get too shy to do it in the moment but I'm trying to work on that so we'll see how we go um, so I'm gonna be doing my nails right now I'm actually gonna be using this to get the excess off I don't normally go for a drill I'm not as confident in a drill but last time I tried to hand file my nails um, my hands hurt a lot because they kind of do I can't do a lot of things with my hands without them hurting really badly. And that's because I have hypermobility in my hands. So they are a little flexible. So it gets a little bit crazy. And I end up just with cramped hands all the time. So I'm going to see how I go with this. Honestly, I still feel like I don't know a lot. It's like I know a bit. And, you know, I don't know how well these are going to go. I don't know if I should use, I don't have very good drill bits. I just have like, you know, ones like this. I don't know if I, I don't know what I'm gonna end up liking. I don't know if this is gonna be okay. Or this feels really thick actually. I might put this one on. I don't know. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be good or if this one's gonna be, I guess I'll just try it out, see how it go see how we go on all right I may just 
fast forward. So I might just put this down a little bit, not all the way. And I'll just go. It's kind of chunky to hold, but yeah. it doesn't hurt when I touch it with my hand. Basically, just being a part of. I think this would be fun to use. It doesn't feel too bad. As long as you're not staying in the one place for too long. Really? I'm not going to go to the end of my hand. I think that's fine. I might go over it with. Number one, this isn't too loud, so. I know I'm almost done, but I just need to uh, stretch my hand because it's... I don't do my nails very often, so I'm not used to it as well. That'll be good, I think. Get my hand. Get hard on my other hand. Yeah. Doing e-focus definitely definitely helps. Like my hands burnt up a little less. I'm just leaving my, my fingers on my thumb all the time to help balance it out. And this is a course, course on the side and fine on the side. Hundred slash hundred eighty. Like about being able to just like go in with the that and then the other side is good. I think that'll do. You know, they're roughly similar. <laughs> I think that's a final one done. Just gonna come in with my alcohol. Spray that already. So I kind of have just a lot of random products. And they're not exactly uh, all new. They're, some of them are kind of old, but you know, I'm only using it on myself and family and friends. But you know, I try to clean these, and then they just, you know, I'm like, okay, they're all nice and clean. And then I swear you lift it up, and you're like, oh, that's a mess again. I don't mind how crazy they are. I don't know what color I want to go for yet still. My phone ended up dying. And why I'll let it sit on the charge for a little bit. Because this isn't a fast charger. I just hope that it can at least keep it alive. I just might need to check every now and then to make sure that the video is still good. So I couldn't decide on exactly what I was doing and I was like going through and I'm like oh I'll just do like two colors and then I grabbed like almost 10 colors out and I'm like no I put this back this crazy I said I was gonna keep it simple I still do have like four colors <laughs> well three solid colors and a shimmer to go over the top well this one already has shimmer on it I didn't realize until I was cleaning it basically took the time to clean these up a little bit because they're looking a bit rank but yeah so I'm just gonna go with Purple, green, blue, purple, green. And that's fine, I think, with yeah, the shimmer over the top of the ones that aren't shimmery. So yeah, I'm just gonna start off with pH bunt. I'm only gonna do one hand at a time because you know when it's on yourself you can only do one hand at a time. So it is a lot slower of a process because of that. Obviously I can't work on both hands at the same time, so you know.
you see how the dropper looks like an Indiana Jones? I want it just to be sure. Let me see around here. Straight away, I'm going for a little foundation. You don't want a lot on. You really want to work it into the nail. Because basically, how we kind of like scratched up the nail, we want the, the bottom of the coat to adhere to it really well. Try not to get it on your skin. Which can just happen, you know. It's not the end of the world if it does happen. Just wipe it off, fix yourself up, move on. Too much product. Depending on what kind of product you have, also you might want to put each nail in separately. I think I should be okay to just do the rest of my nails and put my hand in. This stuff seems to be pretty thick. I'm starting off with a really thin layer. I tend to have a bit of a thicker layer on my second coat, but not too thick still, but just a thicker one. I just like to strip that first coat on really thinly. And I just kind of go in with my nail to wipe off anything. Looks like a mess, but it's fine. Can we go on to the next one? Gorgeous. Wow. I'm doing a lot of the I'm just putting that up with my finger. Boom, boom, boom. Going with the greens. This green is a little streaky, but you know, it's okay, we'll, we'll figure it out. And cut the end. I might flash cure this green. Not very long, just kind of quickly, you know. Just want to get the anything else I do. I'm sorry for that thing. Oh, hey, yes, I can. Three. The brush is a little, um, you know, oh, it actually looks fine here, but it's actually got a bit some wonky bristles. Hopefully, you can stay together. Keep it together, brush. Mm. Yeah, I'll still add some. Like, just to keep it flowing, you know, similarly. Just a little bit. This is just a really. Quick and easy shimmer, just to tie it in together a bit more. Like they didn't go together, but I feel like the blue is a little bit off. <laughs> I didn't realize it was a shimmer blue, but it's fine. So we'll pop the shimmer on, and hopefully it brings it all together a bit more, be a little bit more cohesive. 
this doesn't need to be thick layer at all. see that maybe I'm have been too far away from everything but uh, now I'm just gonna do top coat get a bit anxious and I'm like is it yes 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 I might even put it in to cure a little bit longer just to be sure because I get a bit anxious all right my name is Bailey Sarian and this is the dark history podcast welcome how are you I hope you're doing well. If you're interested in, um, I was gonna say true crime, but this is not about true crime. This is about freaking history, I'm gonna tell you. And if you're a curious cat like myself, then let's go on a journey and like learn something new. that was like three stories above them some people would okay i've done both of my hands here we go i'm gonna put some cuticle oil on my nails now if i can get this open douse 
Dallas, the Dallas. Yeah. There we go. I did me nails. Yay. Thank you for joining me. So cute, oh god. Mm, it's so cute.